welcome back guys so today we are solving the gfg problem of the day that is minimum number of coins so before moving on to the question please 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 subscribe to our channel and like this video and share it with your friends we really need subscribers and let's move on to the question so we are given an infinite supply of each denomination of indian currency that is 1 2 5 10 20 50 100 200 500 and 2000 okay and the target value n okay we have to find the minimum number of coins or uh, notes that is needed to make the change for rupees n and we must return the list containing the value of coins required okay so for example for 43 we have uh, the we have to see uh, before 43 which denomination is present so before 43 50 is after 43 okay so before 43 we can see that only 20 is present so we take 20 okay then how many remains 23 remains okay we take 20 then 23 remains and we again check that how much den denomination is left okay so 20 is again the list the, the first list the, the first less denomination okay so we again take 20 so now 3 is left then for 3 we have 2 then when we take 2 from 3 we, we are left with 1 and at last we have to uh, print 1 okay so that's it so let's see uh, how the code works uh, so what I have done is uh, I, I have a task function where I pass the n n that is money that is given to us uh, okay so I pass the money and I pass it with address so that the change is reflected after this all okay I start with passing the coin coin as 2000 the first denomination is 2000 because what because if I take the largest denomination then only we can have the most optimized uh, what least number of uh, mm, coins that that will be required okay so if it is given 2002 let, let's say then i can take only 2000 uh, one coin and two as the second coin okay and the numbers between these won't be taken because after taking 2000 i'm left to left with only two so the only coin that is equal to or less than two is two and one but when i see that two is equal to two then it becomes zero and uh, we, we don't even go for one okay and we finally return the answer so what we do in the task is we we have passed the money as the address money's address and uh, a vector that will store the coins that are used okay i will go on uh, go on looping until uh, the money is less than coin okay so I push back the coin and subtract it from the money that was given to us. For example, 43 was given. Then 43 is less than uh, 43 is less than 50. Uh, four, and then uh, so it will only go for this task. Okay, so it will go for 20, and uh, I'll see that 43 is greater than 20. Then I will push back 20 and then subtract from 20 from 43 okay so i'm re i'm remained with 23 so now again 23 is greater than 20 so i push back 20 again so 20 is pushed back again and then i subtract it from 20 uh, 23 that is 23 minus 20 that is i'm left with only 2 so this loop uh, again will not execute and i uh, what uh, i have only 2 left in money okay two left in money that means i'm two two left with n because i have passed it with address and then what and then uh, uh, these from 10 will not execute two will on not execute and uh, five and two will five will not execute and finally when we come to two this will execute because five and ten they are what here in this condition they will fail okay uh, as two is not greater than equal to coin so this thing will not execute at all so i'm left with two and one and at uh, when we go for two it will be zero so we are left with no money so we will not even go for this task and finally we will return the answer okay so that's it uh, please subscribe
थैंक यू